All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the defender. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest, big double leg, double change. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. Ortiz is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Both fighters get up now. Big head kick lands. Punches blocked. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And that left hook landed on the button. Switching stances here. Oh man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of. Good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. All right, let's get to round two. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked by Tito. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him drive his shins to his own body with that body kick. What a take now. to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. And now he's got the tie clinch. Tito's shot is blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast, I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Goes to the body there. Uppercut 
Now lands for us. Oh, nice right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Fostering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. All right, so he postures up here, and now fingers to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, right to the mount. Under two minutes now to go in round two. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Nice stick with the right hand. Nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice entry there as he gets another takedown. And I know his opponent has confidence in his ability to get back up. But I got an idea. How about don't get taken down in the first How about defend yourself? Over and over, you're getting taken down. You're losing the fight. you got to change something. And for the offensive wrestler, just continue down the path. Right. It's working. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. You ready to fight? You ready. And we are back for our third and final round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be... Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. He passed the half guard. Working out of the half guard here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Three minutes to go in round three. Fighters back to their feet here. Strong defense there to block the shot. Going orthodox now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high. And now he's going to look back. Well, he's up. But oh, is he hurt. Here's the kick blocked by Ortiz. Oh, straight right. One, two punch by Tito. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Back to the feet. Ortiz gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, so we'll 
see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch souls as the opponent stands go up, drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level strike. Tito gets the double leg takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Gets up again here, but hurting. That knee might have landed there. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. All right, let's get you some highlights now as this one goes the distance, DC. And a lot to like in terms of his takedown game really took it to that requisite next level here tonight. He took it to the next level. He's a guy that you know what's coming. You know that you have to defend the wrestling. But even if you're trying to prepare for it, you never are in the training room with anyone that is just like him. And when you come into contact with him, you understand the difference in training opposed to being there with him. He put the grind on this guy, and he got a convincing victory. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. Going the winner by unanimous decision, the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito. get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.